you know, I can't stress enough how fortunate I've been to grow up in the age where I lived before things became digital and now I'm young enough to understand how tech stuff works, but old enough to not let it get to me. But I, I've got to feel bad for the people that aren't in this headspace because some of you are really useful tools and idiots and you don't like being called out for it. I'm probably going to lose a friend over this shit, but you know what? Sometimes you got to be blunt. And these same people who claim to be real and claim to want you to be yourself and, 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 and like you because of the way you speak your truth don't like it when your truth hurts their feelings. Now, I get that social media is a battleground. We've made it that way. It's just as contentious as real life. But just like as I grew up in New York, I learned how to avoid unnecessary conflict. I don't want to be in a place that I come to for joy, to share ideals, to find like-minded people, and constantly be jumped in to the middle of dumbass shit. You might think it is your civic duty and your owing to the elders to argue with every fucking knucklehead and dusty bum online. But I, I need you to also understand the patterns of some of these people. Because as you argue with them, they go, oh, look, look at that lib. Look at that Democrat that argues with me. Give money to my Patreon so I can continue to troll and rile them up. They have literally made bank off of our rage. When all it's done is chase a lot of us off of social media. So many good accounts that I used to follow just deactivated because they got burnt out. Now, some of you still, you thrive off of it. You enjoy arguing. Maybe it gives you a dopamine hit. Fine. Be honest about that. I don't mind people who have found they're happy online. But when I see a pattern and call it out and then you try to play the fucking victim and act like I'm trying to make you conform when all I'm saying is, hey, you've helped spread his message with the retweet. So even though you might get a few people who are upset at the fact that this man literally said things like, I don't care if black and brown children in red states die. I want my revolution. Well, you could have easily countered him in a reply and then blocked him and shut him down. You are a useful tool to their message and propaganda. And I know it's hard for people to understand that because you feel self-righteous and you're right to call these fuckers out. And I get it. It was me back in 2016, especially arguing with the maggots for the last fucking two years before that. Because I seen the fucking trouble that came with Trump. Literally arguing with people with flag it and gun emojis literally having them threaten my life and for what i wasn't going to change their minds i wasn't there to convince them and i probably spread more of their toxic bullshit arguing with them i get it though because in doing that i grew an amazing fucking following I'm not fucking stupid y'all i know sometimes you think oh she's a nice person i'm not i always i'm i'm up front I am a literal fucking sociopath, and I have been open and honest with people. So I can be open and honest when I say I see the fucking patterns of arguing with people and how it gets you that engagement and how that engagement gets your followers or how the followers feel like power. But I'm telling you, it will fucking burn you out. Honestly speaking, but some of you don't want to hear it. Some of you think I'm trying to form, force you to conform. I would never tell a grown-ass person how to do their Twitter. But when I see my friends getting upset, when I see them being tagged to talk to somebody who is literally just saying shit to rile us up, it is just like when I grew up in New York. Everybody had those friends. Those friends that would start shit. Those, 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 those people that, like, instigated stuff. They didn't mean no harm. This is it was their hit of drama, their hit of dopamine. They would start fights with other people and see how many of their friends they could get to jump in and pile on because it gave them a sense of power. And I see it play out so much online, it's not even funny anymore. And I was always that friend that went to bat for my friends. If you fucked with my friends, you fucked with me. And that shit nearly got me killed. I was constantly fighting battles, even though I shouldn't even have to be involved because it was beyond ridiculous. 
Oh, you stepped on that person's shoe? Apologize and move on. But no, I had to turn in the fucking fisticuffs. Now, I am seeing the stepped on shoe excuse used on social media so fucking much by people who should know better, but they don't because they, they are instigators. And if this loses me, friends, oh, so be it. You know what? It's online. It doesn't fucking matter. And I'm a little sociopath. For everyone that drops off, 10 more drop back on. It is just the reality of this situation. It's sick. But honestly speaking, it is exhausting trying to keep up with the level of rage that some of you seem to want to hold on to that you think is going to get you something. And it might get you a little echo chamber and cheerleader who want to see you burn out quick enough. But the moment you fall, they're going to say, see, I never liked them in the first place. So what the fuck are you doing all this for? So you, you could say you were a tag dog. You, you, you did it for our past. No, you're doing it for you and you're an instigator. And I hate calling out people that I like because that, it's not that I don't like the people that are going to feel attacked by this. If I did, and I wouldn't follow you. That's that was my new rule in 2018. I no longer follow back people just to follow them back. I don't care. I want to engage. I want to talk to the people that I follow. But I have a limit on how much fuckery I am going to ingest from anybody, even the people that I respect. Because some of you will allow the most asinine ways of eroding your spirit. And act like you're doing it for a purpose. And what purpose? I have enough things in my life that make me angry. I have enough things in my life that I need to focus or fight on. Fighting some fool that doesn't vote. That wants to try to destabilize our society. That thinks people should suffer in order to destroy everything and re back better. When there will be nobody smart left. Yeah, no. You want to argue with somebody like that? You want to tag people in to argue with people like that and you don't see the issue? You're part of the problem. And it's not asking you to conform to ask you to stop and think and pick your battles. I'm not telling you not to battle if that's what makes you feel good. But after a while, you got to start questioning why the fuck that makes you feel good. Why arguing with trolls that you know you're not getting through to them helps you feel better about things. Because you, you feel right in it? It is not going to convince somebody who is so knee-deep in getting our reaction that we need to argue our point with them. We have to keep it moving. And I know it's hard for some people to hear that. And I know it's really hard for some people not to have you cater to their egos. I am definitely like that. But I am, unlike some people, real enough to admit it. And when I get to a point where my feelings are hurt, I either lash out or I leave you the fuck alone. So I am hoping that the people who hear this, that will probably feel targeted by this, realize that about me. Just let it drop. Not every fucking online battle is needed. Not every social media fight makes sense. And some of you just want the fucking power of what a follower count can bring you. And you're not fooling anybody anymore. And I say this as somebody who, for some reason, people want to fuck and follow on Twitter. It can be just as much of a pain in the ass as it is nice. You've got just as many people trying to tell you what to say, lie to you in your DMs, try to get you to repair it, any bullshit, and then get mad at you because you won't. You got people constantly trying to pull you into conflict that have absolutely nothing to fucking do with you because that is their dopamine hit. And like I said, I grew up in fucking New York City. Not not rural New York, not the, the fucking actual city where I literally grew up with fucking instigators. Where you could be walking to school one day with your friends and end up in a literal fucking hand-to-hand fisticuff battle because somebody looked at somebody funny. And navigating that kind of fuckery has taught me that this online bullshit isn't worth it. So if what I'm saying hurts your feelings, what I'm saying is making you conform, maybe it's time for you to start to actually self-reflect instead. I know I've come across as judgmental. I can't help it because I see so many good people burning themselves out. So many good people wasting a Sunday on social media talking about how they feel attacked. And then for what? 
It is some rando guy giving an opinion online. We give our opinions online all the time. People don't got to listen to us. I don't put a gun to anybody's head making them listen to the shit I say or reading what I have to tweet out. And if they don't agree, they can keep it pushing. The ones that don't and try me always get their feelings hurt. But some of you, you just got stuck in your, your disbelief system that somehow you are the arbiter on what's right online and you need to make sure that everybody agrees with you or you got to keep driving in the point until you can make somebody agree with you or block you. And it's like, what is the point of that? So my social media is like my part. It is a place where I hang out with my friends and I wouldn't let anybody fucking come and clutter and spread their litter all over it. And since I have adopted that way of being, my, my social media is a lot less stressful. It'd be 100% less stressful if I just cut every fucking body out and, and only dealt with the, 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 the financial aspects of it. But I like social media because I like being able to reach out to people. But some of you just want to instigate and you're exhausting. And to be accused of trying to make somebody conform, that's my fucking limit. This is my lash out moment now. Because you're not going to fucking play the victim when I literally watch you tag people in to deal with a knucklehead who literally said black lives don't matter even though his life is black. What the fuck did you expect us to say to this person? How are we supposed to pile on to somebody who doesn't want to hear us in the first fucking place? Why should we exhaust our spirit and our energy on somebody who only wants to rile us up? Sometimes you have to admit that the people that you like just want to utilize your energy in the worst possible ways and protect your peace is what you have to do to them as your response. And sometimes you lose friendships behind this realness. But your real friends aren't going to make you exhausted and your real friends aren't going to put you in the middle of stuff. So if you feel like I'm putting you in the middle of something, I apologize. Do it as you feel. But I am drawing the fucking battle lines now because I've watched too many people play these fucking games, these manipulative antics and strategies, and then try to act like they're the victims of stuff. I don't know what else to say to this. But expecting people to fight these knuckleheads, retweeting and amplifying their toxic garbage, is doing nothing for the cause you say you're about. And I'm tired of being mad for other people's battles. So, it is what it is. I wasn't going to do a mental health vlog this week. Honestly speaking, it's Jul the day before the July 4th. There's so much going on in my mind as it is, and I was just going to leave it alone. But this shit, when I say it doesn't sit right in my fucking soul, to have people that I respect go to this level, to constantly wonder why I'm still logging on to Twitter, when it's not the app's fault, and it's on me. I, I need to take my own advice. Why am I trying to hold on to a follower that literally stresses me out? We have to start taking our own advice. So if I start less engaging with certain people, that's just going to be me. That's going to be how I handle this shit now. Because I feel like, even as I'm saying that, the realization of, I need to practice what I preach. I'm letting this person antics rile me up. And as far as I'm concerned now, I am seeing them in the same light. I just seen that whole tip that I immediately blocked after seeing him say that black children and brown children don't matter to him as long as he gets his revolution. If you keep amplifying their message for me, you're just as bad as the messenger. And you can take that how you want. See ya.